Okay, you know, we're back. Just uh, before we I'm start, I want to show off real quick our mini cam. Here are a few minis that uh, Ian painted. He has painted many, many, many dozens, dozens, dozens of minis for us over the last couple of years. But here are three that he painted. Uh, I will endeavor to get a nice backdrop and good lighting on these minis right now. I've been able to at least get a fairly decent focus on them. They look like minis in the cabinet. One of them. <laughs> Where are they being filmed right now? Uh, they are down in oh, this down little there. light box. We've purchased a light before. box to put them in. Oh, my glory. We've got a camera on them. And what you're looking at is a one-armed bagpiper. I like how his and loot sword player. is. And, and loot player. And, and then he's got his squire with him carrying a whole bunch of swords. And apparently this is his his uh little wolf coyote, baby wolf coyote companion anyways those were some of the minis that ian brought painted this time around thank you very much beautiful ian good job oh, lovely okay so you oh, ian um sorry thaddeus has basically made it across the pit what you guys decide to do with your dwarf, dwarf? Um, i think we're going to combine between him yanking and me pushing and what move toss the, move toss the dwarf. Toss. <laughs> don't toss the dwarf <laughs> All right, you gotta make, move him across yep. across there. Move him across if there and... <laughs> okay, you move him across there. He's able. He doesn't want to fall in the pit, so he he complies with you walking across okay, those and I'm little. I'm falling bits. right behind uh, Thaddeus and the dwarf. You hear him once again mumbling under his breath as a dwarf. Uh, I'm gonna get all of your little minis up here. Is anybody else with them? What are the rest of the rest of you doing? I'm gonna try to tiptoe across as well. And Lavinia? Me? Okay, and yeah, Lavinia? Same. Uh, excuse me, sir. You might want to move out of the way to make room for the, those I, coming I, after I us. I rolled a nine for, um, for, for crouching along the side. All right, I'm going to I'm gonna move. My acrobatics is... I'm going to move everything like this. Oh, that's a little too far. Hold on. Okay. Try not to get you cut off on the camera. There you go. I'm just disappointed. Yeah, because I thought you know, they move. said in many your head, so there's room for Miss Smith and the others. My acrobatics is really twelve, and then I rolled a nine uh, to creep across the, on the ledge there. You have no problem. So, are you across next, Percy? You've gone across, Percy, right? Percy, I'm pushing the the dwarf across. The dwarf's yes, gone so. across. Are yeah. you crossing now? I'm across now. Do we need to roll? I think you have to roll acrobatics. Study, yeah, study. roll acrobatics. Everybody roll acrobatics. We're gonna. I'll roll for Raven with my skookum. Look at this. The first roll. Here we 23. go. Twenty-three. Raven does a poor job. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Put, put your wait, mug, mug, mug up again. So we can see. Oh, all right. Okay. Yes, sorry. Yes. So yes, here it is. Little I got higher. This for little Father's higher. Day. Just a minute. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Uh, so there we go. Ah, here is our mug with our opening in the handle opening is right here in the handle because this is a different episode than the when we got it we opened this last episode here's our mug here's where the dice come out we'll put the dice in there are you rolling for raven right now i'm rolling for i rolled for raven it yeah. was a five this one's an 18 i'm going to split the difference and say he barely he used his Woo! time turner thing <laughs> he used his, yeah that's right he used his time turner thing <laughs> to turn back time so he didn't fall in the pit turn turn back back time. Time. If so, I could find a way. <laughs> okay, so, uh, oh, I almost forgot uh, to set a timer slash timer. I'm going to make a I, I need this. for you to do a let's try it again. No, well, he can't do let's try it he again on you. No. I can only do it on me. Raven, I know. Raven could do a time. On you, but he used to. We can just now. Uh, let's see. She, she rolled a one, so she would like Raven to help her out. And I'm sure he would be and able to. Well, he is out of luck because Raven has spent his two Krona shifts. Yeah. Gosh. And what about your hero points? Do you have any? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Well, why don't you you use give me a hero point. Surely you were going to use, use a your, rope. Yeah, use your use your hero points. Yeah. Okay. Hero point. Hero point. And you make it. And we need to explain what a hero point is. Okay, so let's explain what a hero point is. Everybody gets starts out with one uh once per day, and basically it's a do-over. It's a mulligan. It lets them take back or fix some problem they've had once. Now, if they do a really 
smart, brilliant thing, either great role playing or some other great strategy or something, uh, the game master will sometimes award them another hero point. You can have up to three. However, when you have a long rest, uh, any extras you have revert back to just one hero point that you've got. So that's what it is. It's a mulligan. And uh, does that make everybody in the cave now? Uh, well, what did you roll the second time? I didn't roll. I just was told that I made it. Uh, you all made it. Okay, so you're all across. Okay, so the hero coin automatically made her make it? To yes. Okay. I'm just case. letting her. I'm just letting awesome. her go. This guy. Awesome. In the interest of us moving along, okay. You end up uh, in what looks like here. I need to. Sorry, I need to move the, move clean the up the map so you can see what's going on. Do do do. Move the map. Move the map. Okay. So Where it looks say, like it's rolled down into a uh, bit of a pit, and there is a mine entrance in front of you. And that mine entrance has got a couple of uh, torches on the sides uh, lit just for atmosphere because I forgot where our dwarves uh, don't need torches. So never mind about the torches. And uh, we you've can't got use a the torches? deep. We've dark. got a glowing dwarf. You you can. <laughs> true. We have a glowing dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> Now I want. How uh, long does he glow for? That's a good question. Uh, I think that he'll glow for like eight hours. I forget Perfect. what the light. Uh, you know, ask Lavinia how long her light spell lasts. It's on her uh, magic spell sheet. That's how you will find out. So, um, who's going to be first entering the mine? I need a marching order because I'm going to attach you all to that person. Uh, I think I'm probably the the one who wants to tank. But I'm also worried, and I want Thaddeus to check for traps. Yeah. So I want to go. I... What if you two hold hands and walk side yes. by side? Yes, we could. I'm going to put Thaddeus in front. I'm going to put Percy right behind him. Yep. 26. Besides, Thaddeus, his freaking armor class is insane. So. Oh, he's got a good armor class. Who's now? who's after? Best who's... armor class out of all of us. Oh, really? Okay. Yes. Because um, he gets that nimble dog. I bone. would say that you should be next, and then. Um... I was thinking about following up the lead behind Squishy and Lavinia. I'm going to say that that you are handling Dwergar because Dwarf. I could watch the back while yeah. you watch the front. Okay, and I've got Dwergar. All right, we're going to put you in the back. We'll put the other two Squishies in the middle. So duration is until the next time I make my daily preparations. So, uh... Whoa, that's like 24 hours. Okay, all right. That's right. So uh, you're all there. And uh, as Thaddeus uh, goes in right away, the first thing that he notices is that there's immediately a right angle turn. Okay, 1A. To the right, to the right. Everyone now goes in the box. It's very right. dark. Are you guys? You're going to use the glowing dwarf, but he's right behind you, Thaddeus. Uh, what are you using, Thaddeus? Thaddeus? Yeah. Do you have a torch, Thaddeus? Well, uh, shove the dwarf in front. Yeah, I can sh okay, let's shove the dwarf can, in front. Yeah, he's attached to us with a rope. We're so, going to assume the dwarf is a, is in front. I'm going yeah. to put a torch yeah. on for Thaddeus. And so I am I am pushing him from behind, and Thaddeus is right next to me. Yes. So he's checking. I'm lighting you all up so I can You're find you. You're prodding him in the back. Prodding him. With your bow or pointy stick. whatever. Or with your cane rapier. My push, bowie, push. My bowie knife. Yeah. Yes. That's not a knife. It's a knife. No, it's not. It's not. Okay. So um, it's what knife. did you roll for your examination? Um, 26. Right around the corner, you see what looks like some strange holes fresh holes dug into both sides of the walls that are right around the right angle of the corner and uh, as you examine them you realize sure enough that's another damn trap it looks like a little spear launching trap okay what do you want to do about it the cane rape you're at the ready <laughs> so uh, do you, you want to stick your cane rapier in there to trigger it yeah and uh stand back oh, and stand back yeah, yeah stand back enough the spears go across and it is disarmed uh, i can just turn it back off i guess okay uh it's disarmed and uh you now make it around the corner here is where 
And as Thaddeus goes poisoned. around the corner, he is immediately met with a precipice. And in front of him, it drops down. It looks to be about 15 feet. Okay. Can we judge how far is, uh, so there's a mud pit. How far till we get to the next patch of dry? Or is there an, a ledge ahead of us that we can jump to or yeah. put a rope It's to? dark out there. The most that you can see from where you are at right now is this much of the mud pit. Oh, um, okay. And that's all mud pit. All right. Can we go around? Mm. It looks like they're in... Well, you could try exploring mm -hmm. along the outside of the of yeah. the mine some more. Um. Oh, is this all... Are these walls? Yeah. Yeah, I think this area here we can explore. I think if we go along that way. Yeah, possibly do down wanna, here or... Yeah, or down here or down... Okay. Do Just you try exploring like that? Let's that. Through. Mm -hmm. So if we go back over here, yeah. maybe let's try that. Do that. All right, so we're going to um, move it over a little bit like this, and we're yep. going to have you guys kind of go over over in that area. Um, and I am going to fix fog of war as you begin to walk over there. I think yep. we all said no to the mud bath. So yeah, well, you know, it's good for your skin, but so you're there yep. as you examine that. You find the edge. And this is everything that you see. The edge of what? Mm -hmm. the just, of the, edge. just the edge of the mine. You cannot go any further that direction. What is that glowy object? That is what I'm going to investigate. Yeah. Okay, well. <clears throat> you investigate so that, we that object that's laying on the floor there? Yep. Why don't we click on it? Because it might be something that one of us can acquire. 22. All right, you examine it, and it looks like it's a scroll laying on the ground in an alcove. Mm. And of I course, Raven is just so I excited about that. Would like that. Mr. Alexium, could you look at this, please? So, Raven goes over. You basically find that both sides outside are a dead end. It appears to be, unless you leave the entire enclosure and look around the ring on the outside uh the of this pit that you walked into the only way into the mine is this mud pit thing in front of you <laughs> there okay so i i suggest that we find a heavy object and throw it into the mud pit to see how deep it is we, it. we have things in the bag of holding that is super throw them all in there you got the damn mall that you just picked up you don't yeah let's thing. throw them all in there from the from the uh thing and i'm tying a rope to the end of it just to see how deep it goes Look. All right, so you throw them all in, it goes poof, and it looks like there are two inches of mud. Two, two it's all just kind of sliding around. It's okay. it's difficult terrain. It's greasy, but there's only two inches of it. Okay, guys. Okay. Everyone, go. put on your boots. Put your wellies. What on. as you push the dwarf close to the edge, and you look down, you can clearly see that there are what might be barely the left trail of other tracks through the mud. Anyways, okay. who's going down? I'm going down definitely. Okay. All right. You're all going down into the mud pit. Yep. Mm, yep. Hold on a second. I want to check wardrobe. Uh, I also have. <laughs> I also have trailblazing stride. I'm just reading now to see if that'll help. My paper doll. I would like to put on my boots of bounding. That's you ignore the effects. Broken is your paper doll images. I got to put those back in. Oh. You ignore the effects of non-magical difficult terrain. So enough, sure enough, this is non-magical, difficult terrain. So you're not going to be slipping around too bad. No. And I'm making sure I'm wearing my boots of bounding so that the springy soles of these sturdy leather boots cushion your feet and make each step lighter. These boots give you a plus five item bonus to your speed and a plus two bonus, sorry, item bonus to athletics checks to high jump and long jump. In addition... When you use a leap action, you can move five feet further if jumping horizontally or three feet higher if jumping vertically. So I'm wearing my boots of bounding and skipping across the mud. Okay, uh, everybody's got to climb down though, so roll an acrobatics check to climb down without falling. Fourteen plus whatever my... You're good. 
21. You're good? I'm going to roll the 17. And you're okay. My acrobatics is 12. 32. Well, I think you're very good then, obviously, aren't you? Okay, so you all end up getting down. Raven, Raven, what happened to you, Raven? Here we go. You rolled an 11. Good enough. With your, your You're really bonus. enjoying your, your cup, aren't you? I love my damn cup. Okay, you are all down in the mud. I don't even know why I'm moving your tokens. I'm just going to continue on. You're all in the mud. As you uh, get down into the darkness of the mud with your glowing dwarf... Uh, you notice a couple of things. First of all, uh, somebody needs to do a uh, a seek, the seek action, where you seek all around to check everything. That would be Thaddeus. Thaddeus, do a seek. Uh, four plus nine. Close it up. You're not too bad. Yeah. As you seek, you notice that there are some mushrooms. There's a green glow coming from what looks like a low sewer grate there's a very low opening off to the right there's a some green gas coming through some mist but it doesn't smell poisonous or anything like that and uh there are a bunch of little mushrooms all growing around the edge uh there's even a mushroom node that you can um fungus node that you can uh, mushroom and get one i from. think we should harvest these glowing mushrooms because they seem fun Dude. So, uh, this, this, this sewer opening that's going through is only about two and a half feet wide and about two and a half, three feet tall. Okay. And it goes off into some other area. As you continue to seek, you discover Why the do edge. Have permission to harvest mushrooms. I thought we all had permission to harvest. You do, but maybe this is an old button that I didn't get fixed. If so, just ignore it. I think okay. it does. Here is, uh, here is also, give me this. Here is also what you find. You find a satchel laying in the corner. Now I have got to set this satchel up. So give me a moment. It looks like it is an old satchel that is just laying in the mud and you have All players are now owners of the satchel. You uh, have found it. Who wants to, what do you want to do with this satchel, Thaddeus? You were the one seeking. Um, I'm taking the, um, the tools. Did you open it? Yeah. Obviously, All right, I'll open it for the people at the, on the screen. And you can see that this uh, satchel, oh, uh, maybe we'll go to... We'll go to my screen here, adventure screen. There we go. This uh, satchel has got some thieves tools. It's got a uh, periscope. It's got some kind of unusual object. You don't know what it is. You're going to have to get uh, a Raven to identify it. Raven rolls to identify to see if he can identify it. And with a seven, it's got a very level. low identification level. He is able to identify it and discovers it's a climbing kit. Hey, how come it didn't identify? We make frequent use of climbing kits. So that's a this one that could appears probably go the mm -hmm. to be a so climbing kit extreme. So it's got lots of goodies in it and, um, works great okay you also find a scroll of grease and a scroll of summon past companion wait cool what did he just say summon, summon past, past companion. companion i know i know there i think we'll give it to her well it's a scroll yeah so anybody it's, could use it no not anyone can use only people who can read scrolls can you cast scrolls. He, he can. She can do a couple. But mm. it's a squishy wizard who does yeah. the scrolls. But if you board the, the spyglass and read it. Why don't you pick I up mean, that scroll and borrow the spyglass? Yeah. We, pick up the scroll, borrow the spyglass. Okay, you have I can't do either because my... Sorry. Uh, I... I'll refresh, but I'm not finding this. Well, we'll just role play it then. Let's say that you reach into that satchel. Mm -hmm. and you pick up that scroll 
Uh, I'm going to show you guys on the back screen. Boop. Can you see that? Here is the scroll of past companion. Oh, of course the damn thing is broken. See what I told you about things that are broken? By any class to some. Yes. This ancient scroll may be used by any class to summon or resurrect a previous companion. The caster must have been bonded to the past compa companion for three weeks. I hope her camera's on. Three days. Three days oh only. God. Or three days. Oh okay. Um, okay, now hold on. We're sitting Let's in Let's have a look at it. It can be cast by any class. Would you like to cast this scroll? Do you want to do I it here or do you want to... I would like that? to hold on to it. Okay. All right, put it in. I will put it in your inventory for you. What an amazing scroll. <laughs> God, you guys, you guys no. I know, I know. But we, I was like, the moment I heard what he said, I was like, oh, <laughs> I have been wishing for this. I've been wondering what kind of thing there is that we could do this, fix this problem. And and there it is. And now we have a mini that's actually uh, for, a uh, for an actual wolf. Everyone. <laughs> everyone uh who's watching because uh the bear has not been with us since we started streaming mm. bear is my companion wolf i uh i bonded with him when he was a wolf pup and he became part of our team and he was a lovely sweet boy and we ended up losing him when we came through the portal from the mansion to uh the swamp, florida swamp. yeah you ended up in the swamp in the swamp huh? and no, we ended um, up in that strange place bear didn't come with us through the portal and i think everyone was pretty devastated he was our buddy yeah. um he, he was, was part of our useful. team very he was a good boy mm -hmm. he was a good, good he was boy. a good boy and we want him back really badly so this uh this scroll is a blessing and everyone is really happy right now <laughs> raven grabs the grease uh uh scroll from the uh satchel Mm -hmm. And uh, we move on, and you can now decide what else you want to do. I'm going to close this back well, up. It looks like there's a lighter area towards the the top of the room, the um, that we want to investigate. As you doors. as you go to examine that spot at the top of the room, uh, you see that actually it is another opening. Again, yeah. it's 15 feet up. Yeah. To this opening, it mm -hmm. looks like. There are a couple of uh, poles at the ends and some kind of uh, structure that's built into this little alcove. And uh, it's some kind of extending bridge that's being retracted okay. that goes across the mud pit. Right. And uh, it's retracted into this uh, one indented square. The walls on both sides all look like this so do we want to investigate this grill more and see if there's a way through ah. what happened natural 20. what are you investigating i'm investigating um for traps and um anything else you a, can a find. switch to operate the bridge you see what oh. looks like up on the thing that looks like there's a lever switch to operate the bridge and in addition to that uh it looks to you like there are a couple of hooks up there you might be able to if you only had a magical rope or some other kind of thing you could throw up there and loop around there miss smith you're very handy with a lasso aren't you and a magical rope <laughs> and a magical rope yeah um, may I send up this magical vine rope that we have acquired? We're not may. in combat, so yeah, go. Okay. okay. All right, so your little guys are there. You're up there. Uh, it's an app, a rope that you, you need to do an acrobatic check to climb, acrobatic. all of you. Okay. As long as you don't roll a one or a two, you're good to go. <laughs> I don't like that look on your face, man. Plus 13. Oh, oh, okay. Thaddeus rolls no, a one. Looking, plus 13. 
I rolled a 19, of course, because I've got a 12 I'm plus roll whatever. Anything happened. Oh, God, I love this mug so much. Yay. Oh, it's a 20. Woo. Good job. Thaddeus makes it no problem. Percy. And I got 23, so we're good. Okay, as you climb up to the top, you are now at the top. You guys can all put yourselves there, too. Here, I'm going to just recenter and pull this down in so we're That makes it easy. Spot. Yeah, okay, you guys mean. can move all yourselves we're over. All okay, we're all up. You all made it up there, no problem. Everybody made it. Up. I you assume you're him. like dragging him and pulling him up with you afterwards. You got a rope, you just pull him up. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I tied a rope around his waist. Yeah. And we've been so he has poking and prodding, so yeah. I just pulled him up. So we're as you up now, <laughs> as you get to the <laughs> top, <laughs> you see that there is a doorway I'd opening. I'd love to know what his name is. Yes. But we could call him Santa. Let's no, call we him should Egyptian. call him by his proper name. Well, why don't you fucking ask him? What's your name? So he looks at all of you and he says, hey, my name's Burgle. Burgle? Burgle. 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 Like, 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 Burglar. like Burglar. Burglar. Burglary, but Burglar. Yeah. Burglary. Yeah. <laughs> and welcome to our lovely little base of operations. Mm. Well, thank you very nice much to that. meet you burgle thank How you for the warm welcome sir and thank you for your shining sir. light <laughs> <laughs> shining personality uh right, and then he right. bellows at the top of his lungs oh helgen they brought me here i've got them and you hear some dwarves laughing in the darkness <laughs> hey, who's gonna smack him the f out i could do that punk all right, so you knock him out. I'm going to assume no that you were able to knock him out. He's tied up. You're not. Uh, this is uh, what you see. Pay attention to the map, and you will see what you see. How come it's not... Uh... Oh, because you're all standing on stuff. All right. There's a little pamphlet in the corner. Adventure screen. going to show you guys this on the screen behind me, because this is a little... One more new one, one of the last few new things. So Thaddeus has gathered a pamphlet, uh, and it's Junk in bomb. chat. You can see it in your own chat if you want. Junk bomb. It says this pamphlet describes how a person with extensive experience using black powder can make a certain explosive. It describes the materials required and how to create the item. After you have read the description below, inform the GM that you now understand this recipe and you want it pasted into a crafting, crafting book. So, junk bomb is a bomb. This volatile looking bomb is cobbled together from jagged metal scrap, broken glass, and other bits of razor sharp fragments. Uh, last round, a core of explosive. Uh, it deals 1d8 slashing damage and a bleed and uh, 1d8 splash damage because it's just a lesser one. Yep. You hear some scurrying off in the dark, uh, and you hear the sound of some tink jingling and some armor and some scraping. Yep. That sound is coming from this hallway right here. Do you want to hook up some tripwires? Sure. You'll also see that there is a hallway going this direction, and mm -hmm. there is a hallway going this direction. Are they stairs or just... Because they are ramps and apparently ramps. you are at a high point and these ramps go downwards at a very gentle slope uh, the hallway that is ahead of you uh is on the same level as you are it is the hallways to the right or the left that are sloping downwards just slightly i have a suggestion uh, we're all ears. Oh, here, i'm sorry i didn't show everybody on the screen this there all right, what's your suggestion? Or the, uh, the, an idea, I guess. Um, since these are ramps, can we gather some stones from around here and roll them down and see how far they go in either direction? They're about uh, the same um, based on slope sound? as a wheelchair ramp. They're about the slope of a wheelchair ramp, so you could certainly roll something down them. Mm -hmm. I was okay. thinking bowling and just... Like, I, was, I was thinking bowling in a different context um with the people coming at us from the corridor straight ahead we can go bowling that way too uh, i would i would roll burgle down there 
tie them up. Yeah. Just okay, wad them it. up and knot them up. Let's and... remind ourselves that he is our only source. He's right. our light source, right? Right. Uh, but once he's gone, you can light uh, something else. Trip wires. Let's do the trip wires. You want to do trip wires? As soon as we can. Um, yeah. Okay. okay. So, uh, but where are uh, we I'm setting I'm going to make a note to... in the journal about this because uh, you have arrived here. We're going to go to the party journal. We're yep. going to if, add. If we're going down this hallway, then let's do trip wires. Trip wire there and there. These yeah. ones. Yeah. Yeah. And then we can yeah, remove them if necessary. This. Are they? Yeah, they're coming. I thought they from were coming ahead. from. Oh, okay. no, they're coming from straight yeah. ahead. And so I thought that's who we're chasing after. Were these guys? I'm uh, not chasing after, just trying to avoid. Well, and they're, they're going to come. They're going to come attack us. Yeah. Like, so we're um, maybe we're putting the trip wires in the hallway ahead, and trying the ramps. Yeah. Why don't we trip wire two of the three that we don't? Yeah, down. trip wire the ones we don't go to. Like if we decide to go down this one, we do this one and this one. Yeah. Cover our asses. Sounds good. Okay, I'm going to draw on the map. I've made a uh, note in the journal that just says party enters abandoned mine with prisoner with dwarf prisoner. They place trip wires. This yeah. is so we remember next time. If you guys uh, get time, yeah. please go into the party journal and fill in. Uh, where the hell is the, the note? I'll put it in the right place. Uh, it's called Abandoned Mine. Please fill it in with more information on what's happened if you want those notes to be remembered. Okay. Yep. okay. And that way everybody can read them because they're in the party journal one. Also, let's go to the actual map. Now, which... I'm going to draw this so that I've got the... with my drawing tools. Let me just go find a uh, drawing tool. Which uh, places are we placing the tripwires? Did we decide uh, if we're going left or right? Starting with with uh, along here, uh, where they're coming from. Okay, so we are drawing so a tripwire across there over them before they arrive. Okay, at us. I put a thin white tripwire across there. Uh, you can see it barely on the screen. Oh yes, there we go. I'm sorry, I'm for I'm not aware of this language. I don't know what a tripwire is. It's a booby trap. Okay. So it's a long wire that you attach to one side. Mm -hmm. You pull the wire across just at about shin height mm -hmm. or whatever over to the other side. Mm -hmm. and then maybe run along the wall to whatever you want. An alarm, an explosive, whatever snare you want to build. Okay. There is an entire section of snares that I've gathered. There's a section I've made of items called stealth. And you will find amongst the pamphlets you get snare pamphlets. Hmm. So that you will be able to make snares. This will be something that Percy and Thaddeus are good at. I also put my trip, uh, my bear trap. Okay. My bridge's put... trap will go ahead of the trip wire. Okay. All right. So, so I'm going further to. Further down the hallway. Yeah. I'm going to put a little circle here so that we know there's a trap there. Yep. And that way we can take that, that, uh, I guess maybe I need to actually. I'll just leave it like that. I mean, I'll need to come back and fetch it at some point, but I, I guess that's fine. My question is, where do we think these... Because we came in here looking for prisoners. Right. Where do we think these prisoners might be located? We'll find that out in a minute. Once I we, guess. Once we go explore. Or next week. Yeah. Because we, uh, we need to explore. Right now, for... advancing dwarves are the yeah, more... Yeah, I think that's more The greater issue. peril at the moment. Yeah. Well, I know, but in, in us choosing which direction... Yeah. Like, is yeah. there... Like, does anyone have we're any... Prob we have no clue. Okay. So we're just going to pick one randomly, okay. head that direction, and uh, we'll probably have to double back at some point. Yeah. But we like have usual. To but we have to go somewhere, or we're just going to get caged in. Right. And we don't want to get caged in. For sure. Okay, so I what I've done is I've just drawn a little thing called Bridger's. Yeah. I put it right there so we know it's Bridger's trap. There's a tripwire behind it. Yeah. Where anywhere else for tripwires or just that one? Uh I think we're gonna go to the do you guys want to go to the left? Sure. Let's go to the left. To the left. To the okay, left. so you're gonna put one on the right? Yeah, we'll put a tripwire on the I right. I am so proud of you guys for thinking this way. Excellent. You have done an excellent job. 
Okay, let's call it right there. We've left okay. the tripwires in place. This is where we're going to pick up next week. All right. Coming to hang. I want to hear the Thank rest of Thank you so oh, much yeah. for everyone thank who you. joined guys, tonight. Wow, what a great game tonight. Thank you. Very and thank you, Dave. Yeah. Thank you. Our game master for Everything another is... amazing adventure tonight. Everything is working in my crazy, <laughs> crazy <laughs> studio machine along with Foundry. All right. Thank you.